My brethren, be not masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we, are, we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. Verse 3, Behold, we put bits in the horses' mouths, that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships, which, though they be so great, and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small hill. Whithersoever the governor listed. Even so the tongue is a little member All and right. boasts with great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our, our members, that it defileth the whole body, and set it on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast, and, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea, is tamed, and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Mm. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the, after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessings and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh? Who is the wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. This wisdom, this wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Verse 18. And the fruit of the righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Look at your neighbor and say, what seed are you sowing? Are you sowing? Are you sowing? Look at another neighbor and say, what seed are you sowing? What seed are you sowing? Now, kind Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, O oh God, as I increase that you might increase. Father, God, have thine own way. Speak this word in clarity and in its, in its, in its entirety, Father. Use me, O oh God, in the way that you would have to use me, Father. Spew out amongst your people in this place, God, a word that's straight from the throne room. Bless your people in this hour, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. But first and foremost, O oh God, let me be first partaker. God, do what you will in this hour. Move like we know you can, Father. Heal, deliver, and set free. Bless in this hour. God, we give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. And every heart say amen. 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 I want to give honor where honor is due at first and first and foremost giving honor to God who's the head of my life. Amen. Giving honor to the apostle of this house, amen. Apostle Juan Bernard. Giving honor to Pastor, Pastor Murray, amen. Lady amen. Duffy in her absence. Amen. And last but not least, least, I do have to recognize one person in my life. Amen. Recognize. Amen. Sweet as she can be. Sweeter than honey, Amen. better than strawberries. Amen. I like to recognize my my wife. My some people say they better have. I say my best. Amen. Home. Amen. Amen. Who supports me and and pushes me to where I need to be. Amen. But after all the accolades, I have everybody that's in the rightful place. I bless God for you just as well. Amen. I I wanted to uh, bring a quick word to you on today. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm just going to speak what God has for, for the house and I'm going to move out of the way. Can I get an amen in the house on today? Amen. 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 I touched on the topic 
and not actually assigning a a topic as 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 uh, readers or as writers do to their books or as writers do to their papers. I touched on this basically because in this season we're faced with a lot of people throwing words out or throwing seats out or throwing this out and throwing that out and and just saying whatever whatever they want to say. Um, in this hour we face a lot of people that are talking about the negatives and not the positives. And I know the negatives are always going to be around us. We're going to have the negatives, but guess what? We're going to also have the positives. In this season, you have to watch what you're saying. Amen. you got to watch what comes out of your mouth. Because whatever seed you sow right now in this season, in this season of double rest, in this season that we are, are supposed to be mirroring the kingdom, you're going to reap what you sow. Now what has happened, I believe, as, as the Holy Ghost has laid upon my heart, I believe that what, what we've allowed to happen in this season, that we've allowed the enemy to come in and to do a switcheroo on us. He's taking the bag of seeds that we have had, that God has given us, the seeds of peace, the seeds of honesty, the seeds of love, the seeds of compassion, and he's done a switcheroo, but we've allowed him in, leaders. I want to talk to the leaders on today. We've allowed him in, so he came through the back door when we was too busy focused on the front door. Amen. He came through the back door and did a switcheroo. And what we are doing in this day and age, we're taking the seeds without even taking, a, taking them into our hands and looking at them. Wow. And now we're just throwing them out and trying to sow seeds that, have, that they, they, they are brutal, they're harsh, they, they, they come against ministries, they come against one another. In this season, we, 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 we are sowing seeds of corruption instead of sowing seeds of peace, instead of sowing seeds of love, instead of sowing seeds of, of growth, of maturity. We are sowing seeds Amen. of hatred. Amen. I don't hit nobody in here today. We're sowing seeds that defile one another. We're sowing seeds that tear each other down. Amen. Now, what, 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 what the Lord shared with me is that it's not the fault of the headship, or I should say, the, the shepherd right. that we've allowed the enemy in. Right, right. It's our fault, our very own fault, because we have gotten off post. Amen. We shut the door on what the word of God has said and opened the door to the enemy, and it's been the back door. So he has come through and did whatever he wanted to do in our households or in our lives, shall I say. He has manipulated us with things. That's why a lot of people chasing after things or chasing after money. He's manipulated us. We've been deceived and hoodwinked and bamboozled. But in this season, I, I, if you would just take the time out to recognize who you are in God, if you would take the time to recognize how powerful you are, if you would take the time out to recognize the seeds that you sow, in season have to be seeds of positivity, have to be seeds of healing, have to be seeds of encouragement, have to be seeds to let you know that you can endure through the time of time. I don't hear nobody in the house on the way. I'm sick of the enemy thinking that he has control over the people of God. We have too much power. But I don't, I, what I recognize is that we've forgotten how powerful we really are. The seeds that we have sown have been seeds of confusion. And it's time out for the seeds of confusion. It's time to put the seeds of peace into place. It's time to put the seeds of compassion into place. It's time out for the foolishness. Amen. Come on now, say that. I recognize that the enemy has bewildered us. Yeah. He made us think that that very thing that we've been chasing after, and notice what I said here, I said that very thing that we've been chasing after is the right thing to chase after. Uh -huh. That's when the spirit of deception sets in. What they call a mirage, a mirage. Y'all know about when the yeah. when, you, when they when they show the movies and the TV shows yeah. that people are in the desert and things of that nature. It's a mirage of water. They've been walking for so very long. It's a mirage of water before them. Yeah. But when they get to the destination, it's nothing but sand. All right. You gotta watch what's before you. Amen. 
you got to watch exactly what you are releasing in the, into the atmosphere. Amen. In this season, we have to release that I'm in my double rest season. Amen. Stop, stop saying it and not living it. Right. Amen. Stop acting like you're in it but not being about it. Yeah. Sow the seeds of positivity. Whatever you see or whatever you believe that God has promised you in this season, know that it's going to come to pass if you believe it. Verse 18 says, And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. The Bible talks about you're going to, you're going to, you're going to reap what you sow. So watch the seeds that you sow. Watch the seeds that you sow. Amen. Make sure that each and every seed that you sow is going to bring forth a positive fruit. Amen. A positive harvest. Amen. I don't hear nobody in here. It's time out for us to stop uh, uh, sowing these seeds and every time we turn around it's corrupt things coming up around us. We know about the, 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 when they talk about throwing the seeds and what, some land on stony ground, some yeah. land in the thorns, yeah. some land on shallow. And the, the funny thing about the shallow portion is this, they can't take root deep enough. Come on. Yeah. Right. So every seed that we've sown, now it's time to get dirty. Possibly talking about root work. So now it's time to get down and dirty and stick your hand in the dirt and remove that thing. It's time for us to start working on the switcheroo. Tell the devil, look here, I'm paying attention to the seeds now. I see the seeds of corruption and I'm putting them back where they came from. I see the seeds of confusion. I'm putting them back where they came from. I see the seeds of manipulation. I'm putting them back where they came from. And guess what, enemy? You can have this bag, this no good bag of seeds. Because now I'm coming after my stuff. I'm coming after what you stole from me. I'm coming after the bag of seeds with all of my prosperity. I'm coming back after the seeds with all of my healing. I'm coming back after the seeds with all of the things that you've stolen in my past life. Oh my God. I'm coming after what you sow from me. Yeah. It's time for me to sow the seeds now that's going to bring forth the harvest of no corruption. It's time to turn away from the uncorrupt seed, the corrupt seed, and get, get with the uncorrupt seed. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's time for us to come together as uni in unity and oneness and build this thing like God told yeah. us to build it. Oh, let's come on now in here. Let's, let's, it's time to sow the seeds that's going to bring forth an influx of people that are dying for Christ, but not dying for the world. It's time for us, leaders, to bring pull together in here and begin to evangelize the way God has told us to. Oh, my God. It's time out for the silliness. My God. It's time out for the foolery. Yes. It's time out for the corrupt seeds. Yes. Tell the enemy, you may thought you had me, but now I'm in a season that I'm putting forth the right seeds. Yes. I'm going to reap a harvest in the season that you never thought. Oh, it's time for us to start speaking those things that be not as though they were. Glory to God. It's time to start speaking healing in the bodies. It's time to start speaking peace in the household. It's time to start speaking peace over the minds of the, the children and in the school system. It's time, it, just as Pastor Murphy was talking about, even as he traveled down the highway praying, on two days before the crash on today, it's time for us to be start to go ahead of, of go ahead of time. Ah, it's time for us to go ahead of time. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I don't hear nobody in here. Come on and give God praise in here. Come on and bless him in here. In this season of sea sowing and prosperity, yes. healing and growth. Glory yes. to God. Come on and give God a hand yes. up and praise.